It's time to get highly reactive. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Highly Reactive, a reaction channel, and we are a review channel as well. We analyze music and what we think about it. And so far, Tommy Hansen, Johansson, sorry, has uh, really impressed us. And today we're doing You Raise Me Up with a one octave challenge. So, really can't wait for this one. Like I said, my name is DJ over there, Stan, and we are ready to react to this one. This is going to be epic. First song we did, which was a winner uh, takes Abba, it The Winner all. Takes It All. Yeah, mate. Amazing. Loved it. Yeah, mate. He really did impress us and i'm really excited to see this one interesting about the one octave challenge you know that's gonna be quite a challenge you raise me up as a very powerful song but hey before we get into it support to the original artist hashtag tommy johansson down in the comments below support to him it's what it's all about and if at any point you enjoy myself and lee J, then make sure you like it sub it and love it let's get on with the show lee J. don't forget to answer the question in the top right corner or left corner depending if you're looking at it this way <laughs> Challenge oh. accepted. Challenge so far has been met, mate. Like, obviously, you raised me up as a, a famous song, um, and then Westlife had a go at covering it, and it was a beautiful cover. Fair play to it. Was it Westlife? I think so. Westlife or Take That? I don't fucking know. Um, anyway, I know they covered it, but Tommy Hansen, Johansson, absolutely fired that through the uh, through the window. That was absolutely spectacular. Like I said, he has raised the octave. I bet he's doing it at each bit as well. Because I was thinking, well, is he gonna like? keep it through but no like every single bit where they would go higher in the song he's making it a little bit higher and he has got range mate we've seen him with, oh, range like this is a bit oh, yeah oh. sorry Joe. yeah well mate i'll tell you something mate tommy is fantastic like like when we first reacted to the last song when it takes it all we went in completely blind didn't know anything about him thank you to those lovely ladies and gentlemen that left those comments like and now we now know that he plays like seven instruments you know he's got a fantastic yeah, voice yeah. the guy proves that he's just a talented musician a talented artist and holy balls has he got an absolutely damn beautiful voice mate what an impressive thing whilst playing piano but i also like how effortless it looks like his face is when he's doing those really sort of like beautiful gentle notes it's really it's quite a pleasure to see mate i love to see an artist you know mm. display his raw, his raw talent and you know share it for the world because that is bloody beautiful fair play tommy fair play yeah absolutely lovely amazing tommy. so far Just, just switch instrument, it's no biggie. Wow. Well done. And I just, I needed a break, mate. I needed a break. My head just rushing from 400 different angles. Yeah, mate. I mean, it's always a pleasure to see someone pull out. Like, I like it when an electric guitar is used in that sort of melody, mate. That tone, that um, octave, like where it just 
it gives it the old school metal, like classic rock and roll vibe, which I absolutely love and mm. miss so much. And I'm glad, you know, like this sort of style is still going on today and people are still producing this style of music. It's fantastic, mate. Oh, yeah. Love his work, mate. Loving his work. Ligier. Yeah. I'm, I, I, the comments really opened my eyes with the seven instruments, etc., and the fact that, you know, you can play them because we did sort of mention it in the last video, like a... Uh, but I wonder who's playing the background instruments. Is it him? Is he doing it all? And he made that guitar sing, mate. That's what, like, the old rock, you know, like the old-fashioned rock where they used to make the guitar do the vocals almost because he was, like, following, the, you know, how he would have done the vocals. And I've got to admit, mate, like, I had my judgy hat on, admittedly, at the beginning of the video. I thought, like, you know, this is a hard song to try and make beautiful again, and he's done it ever so well like what a solo actor in this case i know he's probably had some maybe production help etc but no tommy you rose the challenge so far you have not disappointed let's see the rest of the video and so on maybe one more pause here yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, mate, like I'm just thinking back to winner takes it all. He really has got range. Like this is two videos that we've done. I'm not swearing at you. Two videos that we've done, right? And honestly, like the difference in his voice, which just proves everything, doesn't it? You don't need any more proof. You know that he could do something like this and winner takes it all. It was a little bit more huskier. It was a little bit more sort of heavier, if you'd like where we even said that, you know, he didn't make it too heavy, where it sort of ruined the sort of ambience of the song with this one. Mate, he has made it powerful in such a different way. He hasn't used the sort, I wouldn't say, the heavy side to it. I think he's put a bit of heavy into it. But more importantly, mate, he's just made it absolutely stunningly beautiful in a different way. And I have absolutely full respect for this man that has got this skill. Skill. Yeah. 100 percent EJ. Still. I do actually have a an interesting comparison, but do I at this point, mate? I'm gonna save it for the very end for the review because oh, I am just thoroughly, mate, thoroughly enjoying this right now, baby. Pure soul into it. So let's finish it off, baby. Let's finish the end. He is doing it still. Yeah, now. Well done. He. Yeah, he was, <laughs> that was a challenge. He raised those octaves so well. Mate. I know, mate. I'll tell you something, right? Now, what I particularly liked about this cover is like the individual verses felt like it had a lot more passion to the original. As for like the only things I really remember about the original song is just the chorus, which has that explosive thing, explosive moment. But I felt like he had it very explosive almost throughout he had like high explosives and then when he went to the chorus he just he brought it up a lot more especially at the end mate that voice is is very unique and it is something special especially uh, special within its own category and like so far mate i mean compared to um the winner takes it all mate it goes to show that this guy's got some serious vocal range and i bet there is still more that yet for us to uncover with the vocal range that he has so it'd be interesting to see him do a a sort of a deeper track to see how we get some of that because so far mate 
he can pull out everything. Everything that, you know, is working for him, he's pulling out. And I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this. And do thank you for mm. those recommendations. Cause that, that was that was fantastic. A real show of his skills, Ligier. Yeah, Which I mean, like, let's be honest. Looking at the title, you sort of probably clicked on that he was going to pass the challenge. Otherwise, he probably wouldn't have uploaded the video sort of thing. So I wanted to mention that first. Like, we probably knew that he was going to pass the challenge that he's challenged himself. And he used to raise those by one octave. And, and he did it ever so well. But, you know, because it'd be a bit awful if he just went, hey, oh, crap, I screwed it. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching for three minutes. But what I think, he, he didn't just pass it. He, he, like, surpassed it. He completely and utterly took that to a new level. And it's ironic that the song is called You Raise Me Up because he raised that le level then. He rose it and uh, different words and dictionaries and whatnot. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah absolutely. Right, right. Tommy Anson, you are special. Can't wait to see more of your music. I'd yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and <laughs> and if we did raise you up and you want to be here for any more future Tommy Johansson videos, then make sure you leave that thumbs up button, hit the subscription and ring that notification bell for highly reactive reactions. And thank you very much for giving us your time. It has been a blessing. For the, thank you very much. But what else, Lige? Well, as you can see that Tommy has raised us up, but you can raise his algorithm up with hashtag Tommy Johansson in the comments. You can also raise our algorithm up, if you don't mind, <laughs> with some comments and recommendations down below, likes like uh, Stan said. But yeah, please recommend some more what you like to, uh, with Tommy Johansson. And hey, there are other artists out there that we're happy to support. So you can leave some other recommendations that are related to this. Thank you very much. We are highly reactive. And you are highly amazing.